Today we will be starting something new. I want to show you lighting and composition techniques in a new small bite-sized format. In each episode we will be picking one movie and we will be dissecting a few of those shots in detail and analyzing the lighting styles and composition techniques. In part 2 of this episode we will be taking one of those shots and we will be replicating in a 3D application. Most probably it will be Mayan Arnold but you can use any other render application as well because this is just a general lighting tutorial. Also, please help the like button to optimize this scene because he has a big render coming up and he needs to render a lot of frames and as you know the render times are getting really heavy especially if your scenes are not optimized. You can also help him out by subscribing to this channel and turning on all the notification bells and whistles. Hi Duke. Who's the cowboy? Duke meet Woody. Woody meet... Duke Kaboom! Canada's greatest stuntman! Huh. Oh yeah! Huh. So I had to start with this sequence because I really love the color scheme and the oval composition of the sequence. You can quite clearly see the analogous lighting scheme with this really strong blue light coming from the back. You do have the magenta lighting from the left here and you also have this strong red light coming from the back of Woody. And it just shows this abstract scene, this crazy character Kaboom and the lighting really helps to sell this weird mindset of Kaboom. In the wide shot you can also see that Woody is being lit quite differently than the two characters on the right. So she and Kaboom here are lit in a bit more different light rig. They are both in a more spotlighty situation whereas Woody he's completely in a different rig. Like he just gets a little bit of light in his face and a little bit uh, rim light in the back but his side is essentially pretty dark and the intention of this is to show that Woody is a bit in conflict. He's not super sure about this guy and you can only see his expression. That's why his face is so highlighted you can really read what he's thinking and this is the purpose of the shot which I think works really well. Also compositionally wise the characters are placed in front of a darker background and they are lit super bright. This is a typical phenomenon in a lighting technique to lift or to separate the characters from the background and I think this sequence here especially this shot is executed very well. Situation? Yeah, lost toy, side yard. Billy, go, Gruff. Raise the blinds. They have names? You never told me that. You never asked. Where is he? There. I really love this next clip because it shows very interesting techniques and composition. Um, I'm talking about the blue window and the warm interior. You can clearly see that they are nicely lit and everything is warm and cozy but then the outside is rainy and it's this dark um, blue monochromatic lighting on the outside. And this is showing the two different situations in this shot here. You can see that the toy car is stuck in the mud and it's about to drown or being pushed away and then you do have this bluish monochromatic lighting. I think this is really nice and showcasing the, the the strong differences in lighting. Um, this nice blue one you can see Woody is looking outside and it, he's essentially engulfed by this by the rain and by this monochromatic lighting which just shows that oh they are in a safe warm place in the inside and they need now to get outside and rescue this toy car which is obviously a very dangerous place to go and this is just enforced by these lighting techniques and you can see in the inside it's very nice and you just want to stay there it feels so warm and cozy right but then you would dread going outside but this is exactly um, how the lighting is enforcing this compositionally technique which I really find um, executed um, to the T here. Carry me? No. The next clip here just shows a perfectly well executed monochromatic lighting scheme. You can really feel what Woody and Foki are going through. Foki just jumped out the window, Woody rescued Foki and now they're stranded in this open road and walking down and it's just very sad and you just have this one single light color which just is very melancholic and sad. They also did an amazing job in set dressing, I love the look dev, I love how the street is reflecting in the moonlight and all in all your, your eyes are directed to the story point which are Woody and Forky walking down the street. Also from a compositional standpoint you can see that everything is essentially pointing towards the action with, if you just follow the perspective lines of the shot. Everything is essentially going towards the center and it's just highlighting where you are supposed to look. Feeling useless. Wondering if you'll ever get played with. I'm not leaving without Forky. 
is the most noble thing a toy can do. So this clip here has very exciting color schemes and very interesting lighting techniques. So in the beginning, you can see Woody's backing up slowly. He's all green lit and then you have this warm in the background. So this is essentially an analogous lighting scheme as well. But then in the next shot, which is the opposite camera angle, you can see that the little girl in the front is pretty much lit only from the bottom up. And you can see the light is also reflecting in the faces of these uh, weirdo guys in the background. You can see the, the light is going up like here and then also you can see that it's lighting underneath her arms and it's lighting up her cheeks and her eyebrows and this is a an up lighting technique which is a very monstrous scary lighting technique because it will um, showcase your eye sockets and it just makes you look a little bit more freaky and i think um, this works really well because it's just showcasing that these evil guys are backing onto woody and making everything a little bit more uncomfortable um, but Woody keeps backing up and then um, the next shot is where Woody is in the light and he looks very powerful in this warm lighting environment and you can also see that he is um, brought in front by placing him in front of a black or dark background and he is lit quite bright so he's automatically really popping in this frame everything is pretty dark and then you get this strong key light lighting up his uh, face like that and then you also have an accompanying uh, blue rim light here and this is you could almost say that Woody is lit complementary because it's almost warm yellow versus blue but then he's also lifted by this uh, light on dark so it's super interesting lighting techniques here just to showcase the power of Woody his menacing um, statue and also obviously how he, he is uh, presenting himself with this strong angle and just the silhouette of him is very powerful in, in general and this is also the shot I picked to replicate in a 3D application. So I'll be showing you exactly how you can replicate this lighting setup. And as I pointed out, you have your key, you have your rim, you have your up light, and you do have a, an additional fill light, um, just shaping everything and making Woody look pretty cool. So be sure to check out when I'm showing you how to replicate these lighting setups. All right, so now I showed you a few lighting styles, a few lighting techniques, new names, monochromatic lighting, analogous lighting, up lighting, all these new fancy words. So I hope you enjoyed this. Also, be sure to check out part two of this episode where I will be replicating the light rig where Woody is standing with his pencil. This will be an in-depth tutorial about lighting. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the corner. So just follow the link above to check out part two of this episode.